Sam Wagner with the IK Man and Wolves joining us here at the Carroll Co. Had a couple of events in the books for you. Winning the high jump here tonight. How did you feel there? I felt all right. I mean, I, the most important thing is I got the win. I mean, I could have got a little higher. I'm still trying to hit that 6-3 mark, but, you know, I got the win and scored some points for my team, so I guess that's the most important thing. Sam, what height did you start at out tonight? Uh, I started out at 5'6". And, uh, I think I made everything that I missed once at 5'10". I missed once at 6'0", and then got 6'0". How did you do on 6'2"? Uh, I went straight to 6'3". You went straight to 6'3"? How close did you come? Take us through those three jumps. Well, I think my, my first one was definitely my closest one. I have pro I've, I've had the problem this year, kind of my legs straight a little bit. And I think that's what I hit at that time. I'm kind of wrapping my legs around the bar. And it's, it's not, I'm not able to get them around or up over it in time. And then the next two, my takeoff was not good, and I hit the bar before I even got up, got up over it. I was starting a little too close. I think mean, maybe I sacked myself out a little bit. It was taking too many steps. What do you feel like you got to adjust and to uh, to get those legs wrapped around and, think, and get them up and over? I think definitely I got to get my head back a little farther and back to the right. Got to get my hips up, and I just got to really focus on keeping them out in front of me. Now, I know I saw a comment from you uh, communicating uh, through with Jared Cron kind of the yeah. other day. Uh, what does he tell you? Have you had really a chance to kind of communicate I really with him? I talked to him a lot. I mean, you know, stay relaxed all the whole time. Just you know, think about all the things that you, you've been taught. How nice is it to have a guy that's a, a state champion to be able to talk oh, to awesome. about how to I mean, fix both things? Him and Robert. I mean, Robert, he was a state champion too. I mean, we got a, a very good tradition. Coach Foreman, he's always here helping me, and he, he knows what he's talking about. So you also ran the 100 here tonight. You've been having some success in that. Uh, how'd you do tonight? Uh, I definitely did not do as good as I wanted to. I mean, I got a pretty good start, but the wind kind of got to me. I. I kind of, my left left groin kind of tightened up a little bit too, so I guess we'll see how that goes in the 200. Where did that happen for you? Uh, probably about the 60 meter mark. How'd you finish up then? Just I Is that where your people little, caught you? Yeah, I was just a little slow. Because, I mean, coming out of the start, I was in first place, and then, you know, they kind of caught up to me. And, uh, you know, this, this wind was, it was not a good, not good. Talk about that 200. What do you got to do to keep stretched out for that and stay warm? I just got to keep, keep keep jogging, keep running, keep stretching. You know, there's, there's some good competition here. This, there's a lot of good teams here, and there's a lot of fast people here. So you know, it's good for me though to get to go against those good runners, get me prepared for districts. Well, Sam, I appreciate you joining us here today. Congratulations on the success. Best of luck in that 200. Thanks, Jeff.